In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can connect our Laravel to digital ocean spaces and use it as a storage for our files, for our uploaded files. Okay, so uh, first of all, once you've logged in to DigitalOcean, go to API, and first thing we need to do is to generate access keys for our spaces. So let's click on Generate New. Let's give it a name. For instance, I'm going to say SSD Tutorials. Hit Return. And that will generate a set of uh, keys. Uh, and let's just copy the first one and paste them for the spaces key. And then the second one, the secret one, which is going for the DO spaces secret. Now, in terms of the endpoints, what we are going to have to do is first create the space. So let's go back. We can now close this. That's fine. I'm going to remove this key, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, make sure that you generate your own. Uh, we're going to go to Spaces, and here you can see I've got one already. I'm going to create a new space, uh, so create Spaces, there we go. And uh, depending on where you are, you might choose the, the different one. I'm going to go for Amsterdam. I want to enable Content Delivery Network at the moment. It's all within the price of the space so um, you don't have to worry about an additional cost by using a, a content delivery network i'm going to use the the domain that's going to be provided by digital ocean you can use your own domain if you'd like to uh, then restrict file listing that's all fine it doesn't really matter for what we are using this let's choose a unique subdomain name for our space i'm going to go ssd tutorials for instance and select project we have only one project here so that's all we need to select create a space and in a few moments we should have a space available with all the all the endpoints and everything there we go that's been done as you can see inside of the space we have the endpoints so if we uh, mouse over this edge edge is the one we after because that's the content delivery network so i'm going to copy this we go back to our editor if i paste it to for our the do underscore url so that's going to be where our files will be pointing to now in terms of our spaces endpoint that's going to be everything starting from AMS3 in my case, because that's the region that I, that I have it from, uh, without CDN, and I'm going to use HTTPS before that. So HTTPS region.digitalspaces.com. That is obviously if you are not using any uh, subdomain. Uh, then any your own, sorry, custom domain. Then for the region, as we know already, in my case, is AMS3. So that's what I'm going to paste here. And the bucket that I'm going to use is the name of this space. So SSD tutorials. Now, what I, what I also need to change is file system driver from public. If we go to config, you'll see that file system at the moment is uh, obviously referring to this variable. Uh, but, but I've also added this spaces uh, disk, which we can use, which is pretty much, as you can see, structure-wise, the same as S, Amazon S3. It's just we use different variables for that because it also uses the, the S3 driver for that purpose. Okay, so what we need to change this public to, rather than public, we need to change it to spaces. In order to be able to use S3 uh, driver, we also need to install this dependency this uh, leak fly system aws s3 version 3 uh, with our composer so if we just do that and now we can test our upload again let's just upload three files at a time see what's going to happen what response we are getting so the first one there we go it's been uploaded and the second one is going as well. A few more minutes, seconds, hopefully. <laughs> and the last one. There we go. So that's all uploaded and processed. If we open our storage files, do, 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 do SSD tutorial. Let's just go back to spaces and go this way. So SSD tutorials. 
and there we go images directory has been created and all our images have been uploaded now if we preview the path to those images you'll see that they are now pointing to our digital ocean space if i refresh the page that's still there and obviously if i preview any of these because they are fetched from within the of the content delivery network this is super fast uh, they're loading in absolutely no time as you can see removing these files will work exactly the same way so i click on the remove that should remove the files from the spaces and we're going to check this in just a moment if we just go back refresh and you'll see that we are back to an empty space so i hope you enjoy this speak to you next time